It was about a year ago that uh, we looked at LTE because we, we always look at newer technologies that come. So we ran a uh, POC for about six to nine months, which concluded in about Jan, Feb of 2013. And what the POC showed us is that you can actually get um, speeds up to 70 megs on LTE. Now, our core infrastructure is fiber. Fiber optics, you cannot uh, have any other in, uh, medium that can give you better, faster speeds, and it's light and glass and color. But as an alternative, um, you do look at other technologies. So we have WiMAX, microwave, and now LTE to provide ubiquitous data and technology solutions to our customers. So LTD is going to be another complementary capability that we will have built. So from POC, we've uh, placed an order on uh, at the end of March for deploying LTE infrastructure on our phase zero of our LTE deployment plan. We expect phase zero to be completed approximately in the middle to the second half of the second quarter, which is July, August, September this year. And then we will have uh, services, uh, uh, products and services, devices and services rolled in LTE. We're starting off with a concentrated area with 50 base stations in Gauteng itself. From there, we will then, as, as we roll, we'll continue to get the experience of driving an LTE infrastructure with the data services, writing and devices, and then continue to expand from there on. We also launched the telepres second telepresence room in Cape Town, and that's in situated in the International Convention Center in Cape Town. We will, by the end of June, have Durban as well as Pretoria up and running as the other two public rooms. So then people in South Africa will be able to leverage a domestic uh, public telepresence network that will enable them to collaborate at cost structures that are meaningful, but more, more so also address the green agenda and also the productivity agenda of people. And one often has to spend five hours one way to travel between Cape, I'll go the other Cape Town to Joburg or Joburg to Cape Town and vice versa. In this case, we, the room here that we have in Midrand, uh, connected to the convention center in Cape Town, a one hour, two room usage charge is 3,500 Rand uh, plus taxes. So what that effectively does is makes it very economical for a group of people, more than one or even one, to be able to use the telepresence infrastructure to really collaborate and communicate. Soon, uh, by middle of June, we will be launching another service which will be on the lines of video conferencing as a service. And the summary of what we got to is, Neotel, by virtue of its performance in FY13, it's strengthening <coughs> its position in South Africa. We've grown our revenue um, to an extent that we're growing almost eight times the industry growth rate. We've grown 12%, the industry is growing 1.4, so growing eight times the industry growth rate. Our revenues have grown 12% year on year. We've turned EBIT positive and stay on our path to profitability. Last seven consecutive quarters, we have continued to grow our net EBITDA position 